I'm Mike Kovac, photographer. Amusement parks are fun for most people and a business for others. But there are times when all the amusement goes out of a business. My name's Mike Kovac. Oh, Kovac, I'm glad you could come. Sit down. Thank you. What's your problem? You know, my kid keeps talking about you all the time. Says you're the greatest photographer in the world. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a fan. That's why I sent for you. To tell me that? Uh, I wish that was all. Now, my kid's a real camera bug. I must have spent a fortune on camera equipment. Well, I needed some pictures of the park, you know, for publicity. So I thought I'd give the kid a chance, see if I can get some of my investment back, you understand? Yeah, I understand, but it's uh, not clear. Take a look. Here. Here's a shot the kid took from the roof. It's pretty good, fine shot. Your investment in all that camera equipment is justified, if that's what you want to know. Here's an enlargement the kid made. This is part of this picture here, underneath the roller coaster. Now, uh, what does that look like to you? Well, it doesn't look like the fun house, that's for sure. This big man here looks like he's in the process of dying. Yeah, but he didn't die enough to stay in the park. We covered the whole area underneath the roller coaster. Couldn't find any sign of him. Nobody I ever saw before. Now, we got lots of ice cream jockeys wear the same kind of uniform as that other fella. Did you contact the police? What, and have the whole police force roaming all over my park? Publicity I can use. Notoriety I don't need. I cater to a lot of families with kids. Now, news like this gets out, it could hurt you. All right, you can put me on your payroll. I'll work by the day. Plus expenses. No, I'd like to have the negatives to these pictures. This is my address. I'll have the kid bring them right over to you. Here. Here's a pass. I'll get you by the gate. Boy, oh boy. What I wouldn't have given for one of these when I was a kid. here just as soon as I could. What? Well, you are Mr. Kovac, aren't you? Yeah, every day. Gee, this is nice. Thank you. Hey, that's a nice dark room you have. Yeah, and it's loaded with work, too. So if you don't mind. Oh, boy. Oh, it's beautiful. Sound like you know what you're talking about. You know, maybe you ought to tell me who you are so I know which direction to take in this one-sided conversation. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm Joe Stokes. Here, Ooh. I put you the negative. Well, Dad said you'd be expecting me. Well, it looks like your father and I both made the same mistake. He referred to you as a kid. And I assumed that, boy, you know, he should have warned me. Well, I'm sorry you're disappointed, Mr. Kovac. I guess I'd better go. Oh, I'm not disappointed. Look, you're a photographer, aren't you? Would you like to help me enlarge this? Do you mean it? Sure, come on. Well, what was wrong with my print? Wasn't it clear enough? Oh, it was fine. But I want to blow this up on my enlarger, get more detail. What developer do you use? What would you recommend? I use D72 1 to 2. You named it. Really? Do yeah. you too? Yeah. Well, it looks like it's about ready. Would you turn on all right? Sure. You know, that's a very nice print. But you still can't see that ice cream man's face. But look at here, look at the shoes. They look two-toned, don't they? Black and white. Will that help? Mm, not very much. Now, this big guy that's being shot, have you ever seen him before? No, not that I remember. Well, what do you say we get down to the park? I take a good look around, huh? Maybe you can show me the sights. for the park come out of this place? Mr. Fenton has the concession. I'm sure he'd be glad to help us. Well, let's ask him. Here's your chocolate. 
That's five dozen. That should hold you for a while. Mr. Fenton. Oh, hi, Joe. And if I put these cartons back in the freezer, I'll be right with you. Sure, Mr. Fenton. Doesn't he have any help? No, he does it all by himself. Hi's my little girl. Fine, Mr. Fenton. This is Mike Kovac. He's helping my father on something and wants to ask you some questions. Hello? Sure, sure. How are you, Mr. Kovac? Fine, thank you. Say, that freezer holds a lot of ice cream, doesn't it? I mean, it has to. Got a lot of kids in the park. Got to have ice cream for them. Got just about enough there to last a couple of days. Say, Mr. Fenton, could you tell me something about your help? We don't have steady help. We just hire what we think we'll need in the morning. What's up, Joe? Oh, it's just some petty thievery. Then you don't keep records of your vendors, huh? They're in business for themselves. We sell them the ice cream, they go out and sell it in the park. When they sell out, they come back here and stock up again. Well, then you don't really know anything about the men you employ. No, sir. Just as long as they sell a lot of ice cream. They all wear the same kind of uniform? <laughs> well, we furnish them with a jacket, a cap, and a cart. Then they put up a deposit. Did you ever go out in the park yourself? <laughs> Mr. Kovac, it's hard enough to keep that freezer filled without pushing the cart around. Yeah, I guess so. Well, thanks for your help, Mr. Fenton. Anytime. Glad to have you drop in, Joe. Brightens up my life. Thank you, Mr. Fenton. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. Mr. Fenton Long? Ever since I was a baby. Oh, that's a long, long time. It certainly is. You know, I feel sorry for Mr. Fenton. Why? Well, he saved up all his money to retire and then lost it and had to start all over again. You think your father's in his office now? He should be. I'd like to see him. Okay, I'll see you later, Mike. I have to go on some errands for him. Okay. He was asking too many questions, Barney. About the vendors. I don't like it. Not want any trouble. Money don't come without trouble. You know, he don't look like a cop to me. Mr. Stokes wouldn't go to the police. He sounded more like a private detective. His name is Kovac. You know, Barney, I private think we... Private cop, huh? That's all we need. Give me a plain envelope. What for? Never mind what for. Start loading up my push cart. Two dozen chocolate and a dozen strawberries. No. What? I think we should stop for a while. I don't want any more of this. I, I don't sleep good nights. You want it easy money and you're making it. Don't give me trouble. I don't like it. Moran gave me trouble and he wound up under the pier. Kovac, huh? What do you want the key to his office? I'm sure Mr. Fenton didn't have anything to do with this. This what? We don't even know what it is yet. We know a man in one of his ice cream vendor uniforms does know something about this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I got a whole drawer full of keys. I'll find the one to Fenton's office and get it to him. And Mike, keep this quiet, will you? Have you heard me yelling yet? I'll be at my place. Mr. Kovac. Yeah. I got a note for you. Wait a minute. Uh, who gave this to you? Some kid came up with it. Mm -hmm. Anything wrong? Nah, just a fan letter. Oh. You don't believe I've got a fan? Oh, sure, Mr. Kovac. Take but... it easy. Take it easy. <laughs>
I knew now why Stokes didn't find the body he looked for. I was stupid to get clobbered and lucky to walk away from it. But maybe the other guy hadn't been as lucky. Before the lights went out, I'd seen the same black and white shoes worn by the ice cream vendor. There was a connection with the ice cream office I had to clear up. Just that I get all kinds of callers. You get the key to Fenton's office? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now you go right on back to the point. But Mike... Don't but Mike me. Say, listen, is there a guard on at the gate at night? No, not on the employee's gate after closing. All right, then you tell your dad to meet me there and let me in after closing. You tell him I'll need his help for about an hour. Mike, why don't I... Now, and remember, you haven't seen me since I left the park. Okay. But where are you going? To find a body. What? Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So, howdy, Mr. Kovac. Hello, George. Yeah, did you come to visit the other world? Say, how's business? Well, during the week, it gets kind of slow. <laughs> See, they got me copying the records here. But weekends and holidays, that's our busy time. Anything come in the last few days, George? You working for the lieutenant? Yes, you might say I'm working for the lieutenant. Could I take a look around? Well, I guess there's no harm in it. You, uh, you won't be disturbing anything. What's the guest list? Yeah, let me see now. There's a dame couldn't sleep, took 80 sleeping pills. And here's an old man, hit and run. And then let me see now. Now, kind of like I told you, it's just kind of slow. You mean that's all? No. I just bought in a fellow that was washed up on the beach. Right here. Drowning? No, it was a shooting. Shooting? Hmm? What section of the beach? Well, just off the amusement park. You mind if I look at him? Go ahead. Uh, they got a make on him? They sure have. I hear they got a record on him about a mile long. His name's Moran. What kind of a record? Narcotics. Narcotics. Now I knew I should let my police friend, Lieutenant Donovan, take over. I had found the murder victim, but I'd made a promise to Stokes. And I had a hunch I could establish the connection between the murderer with the black and white shoes and the ice cream office at the park. Why didn't your father meet me? Well, he wasn't here, Mike. He ate in town, and then, well, he had a business meeting this evening. Does he know you're here tonight? No. I wanted to help you myself. You won't tell him, will you? Boy, oh boy. Well, as long as you're here and I need help, okay. Here, let me. Wow. 16 millimeter, telephoto lens, motor. What's this gadget? Small receiver. And this is a miniature transmitter. When this button is released, it sends out signals. Why isn't it working now? Switch is off. When that switch is on, the receiver picks up the signals and starts the camera. That camera keeps taking pictures as long as the button is released. Later on, I'll put the button in the door. When the door is open, it'll release the button and send out a signal. Now, Joe, you take this. And you keep that button pressed down. And when I call you, release the button, and I'll see if I can pick up the signal. Ah, 
like the light inside a refrigerator, huh? That's right. And we'll have a picture of everyone going in or out of this door tomorrow. That's real cool. Cool. The object is to make it hot for somebody. And Joe, tomorrow, if anyone, and that includes Mr. Fenton, asks you where I am, you tell him you haven't seen me, understand? Give the same answer to everybody, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll take you home. What happened to Kovac? What did you do with him? What do you care? I just don't like to see things happen to people. What do you think happens to the people that use that stuff you keep in there? I don't want to hear and I don't want to know. Okay, that's the deal. You keep it in there for me, I take it out for my contacts, and you don't have to know nothing more. I got my pickups in the park. But, Barney, I don't want to... Don't bother me anymore. You give me any more trouble, Fenton. I'm gonna have to dissolve this partnership just like I did with Moran, you hear? I don't want the money. I don't care anymore. You get your stuff out of here and find some other place for it. I'm gonna stay right where it is, Patton. No, take it out of here. There were all kinds of vendors I discovered. Thin, fat, tall, short, with sandals, sneakers, and just plain shoes. Maybe the ice cream office had nothing to do with it. Maybe the man with the black and white shoes had his own wagon and uniform. Mr. Fenton, come in yet? No, sir. He don't usually get in until about 8. Okay, thanks. Uh, do you want me to give him a message? No, no message. Okay. doing here so early? Well, I was in the office and saw you pass by. Did you find anything out? Yeah. Looks like your sweet Mr. Fenton is probably tied in with a dope outfit. I don't believe it. Mike, not Mr. Fenton. He wouldn't do anything like that. I hope you're right. Morning, Eddie. Morning, Mr. Fenton. You know Barney here, one of my vendors. Oh, sure, Mr. Fenton. Oh, Mr. Fenton. Mike Kovac came in and asked for you, and I told him you weren't in yet. Kovac? Thanks. See, you didn't find anything. He couldn't be involved. I'm not through looking yet. An amusement park. The last place you'd think. That's some combination ice cream and dope. Well, you can't be sure. Now, let's see what the ice cream looks like. Vanilla. We'll try the vanilla. Yeah. Let's 
see uh, strawberry. Well, just look at something else. Some chocolate. Let's see what color chocolate is. To you? No, it doesn't. Mike, what are we going to do? Don't lock him in there. Shut up. Open it, Mr. Fenton, please. That's Joe. Oh, Miss Fenton. That's little Joe Stokes. Oh, let her stay there. She stuck her nose in this. No, not Joe. You can't do that. Let me go. Get away from that door. I'd never made that enlargement. But you still want to be a photographer, huh? Well, you will be. Donovan, this is Mike Kovac. My assistant and I have a murderer on ice for you down here at the amusement park. That's what I said, my assistant. 